Aidan, great to talk to you. Um, I suppose I just wanted to ask you really at the start, um, you came into the panel, I think, in maybe oh, oh, nine. oh 09. Yeah, it was one, my last year, so. Um, are you still the same person you are? I remember you as somebody who was coming, you know, really happy to be there, come in, took every training session, enjoyed it, got to meet the new lads and just enjoyed going to your work every day. Yeah, Jenny, that's a long time ago now. It seems uh, the years are counting up all right. I still feel probably the same age and think I'm the same age. Um, I, I definitely do. Um, I probably enjoy it probably just as much. Um, I suppose you don't think about uh, probably think about the implications of um, of your intercounty career when you're 18, 19 years of age and when I was coming in training with you guys. Um, I suppose it was kind of a dream come true at the time and you just kind of go out and do it. Um, I suppose as the years go on, you kind of understand the implications of what you represent and what you do and the implications it has on other people's lives. And I suppose that's the kind of thing you probably think about a bit more. And as the years start to kind of wind down, um, I think this is my ninth season. So, um, you know, obviously you start to realise that maybe after nine years, I haven't achieved what I would have liked. And um, I suppose that's, that's probably uh, something that kind of weighs a little bit more heavily on you. You know, we, we feel we're very capable of winning the All Ireland, and I think we've, um, by coming back, I think we, we've shown that. I think that, you know, obviously we haven't gotten over the line, but um, it's something that we feel is within our grasp, and I think that motivation is huge. Um, you know, we've been on the, obviously, the, the wrong side of some, some really tough results, and that's hard to take, and, you know, I don't know if you'd really get, ever get over them, but um, when, you know, when we, as I say, when we have this moment now, I suppose it's important to try and maximise that. Where do you think is your best position to fulfil, you know, the, the, the maximum role you can have for Mayo? Yeah, I, that's, I, like, I suppose that's an individual question, I suppose, in a team game. I suppose if you're selfish and you want to play somewhere for your own benefit, then you know, I'm, maybe it wouldn't be sent full forward. But uh, you know, we've got to look at what, what we've got, got in our deck and, and see what's best for, for the team. And you know, in the last couple of years, it's been full forward for me. But you know, this isn't tennis. It's, it's, we've got to do it. We, got, we may have to decide what's the best way to deploy their players. You look at Dublin last year when somebody got injured in the defence, Kieran Kenny went back, wing back, you know, it's, it's, it depends on what, what the ask is and especially against different oppositions. I suppose the, the real thing I want to ask you is like on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you hate them? <laughs> I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know if hate is probably the correct word, but I think like in fairness, I think, you know, there's, there's a very strong rivalry there at the moment and I suppose, um, you know, if be honest and say they've, they've had the upper hand on it and they've got more medals in their back pockets than we have and that's, um, that's probably a, a disappointing aspect for a team that I suppose we've competed with them very well over the last couple of years and not to be on the, not to have um, any medals in the back pocket, that's disappointing. And, um, obviously we'd like to have won the games but uh, I don't think the boys are going into the game this weekend thinking oh well because we haven't won the last few, I think probably we're probably looking at it the other way, we've been right in that game and you could say well you know I missed a chance, uh, Killian missed a free, Andy missed a handy one. Like they're the kind of things you look back and say, well, you know, that's that's they're the small little margins. I don't feel like we were beating out the gate by Dublin, we were that far off them, you know. So that's I suppose that's where you get your um, confidence going into this game. So, so one of the other questions I was thinking about coming in that I, I wanted to ask you is I wanted to be to make find out which one was it you or Shamey that was picking the Mayo team last year? <laughs> Well, I don't know, as Connor keeps telling me, he said, if you guys were picking the team, how was I not making it? <laughs> so, yeah, well, sure, look, that's, uh, unfortunately, these things are going to be, um, you know, talked about, but um, it's uh, something I suppose the, the guys in Seth and Shamey have a laugh about, but that's about it. Yeah, look, I, I won't underestimate how difficult that period would have been for the group. And one of the things that impressed me most about the whole lot of you was how you stuck together, there was no one talking out of turn, but it must have been extremely difficult. Um, yeah, look, it's, it's, it's you know it's not obviously the, the easiest. Um, you know, it's silly season in GA and and whatever. I, I don't think it was uh, difficult for for myself and Shamey. I think the, the difficulty was more for probably family members and that. But I said, you know, they know they know my true colours and and I suppose the people that are important to me and important to Shamey and and if, and the group and that's the most important thing. They know they know what the truth is and that's um, that's all that I really care about. And then I suppose some of the, the reports or the, the article in the paper before Christmas and maybe some of the things that might have been aimed at you you and, and, and Shamey, like, did you find them hurtful? Um, it's not something, to be honest with you, I didn't read them. Yeah. Um, I've seen snippets and I've been told what's in them but um, no, I didn't find them hurtful. I know something, what hurts is something if it's truthful and you know for me, if I know that, if I know when I know the truth, I'm, I'm um, being honest with myself and I've been honest with the group then I've no problem. Um, I've no problem with what people want to say about me. You know what I mean? I've I've, I've heard enough rumours about myself over the last ten years that you know what? If I could write a book on it, so um, you know, it's not it's not something that I lose sleep over. Yeah. So I suppose even if there's the perception that's out there that maybe you've had too much of a say in the past in terms of the way, you, you know, that doesn't really wash with you. 
no, definitely not. It's not something, you know, you, you can talk to any of the managers I've worked under, whether it be at uh, Mayo level, college level, uh, interprovincial, Ireland. You know, I've I've played with a lot of a lot of managers, and I think um, I think if you ask any of them, I, I stack up as a, as a fairly solid guy who's um, rolls in behind a, whatever the the um, team ethos is about. Mayo probably has a bit of a messiah complex, you know, whether it be Willie Joe Padden or Kieran McDonald. <laughs> I think you're the new Willie Joe or Kieran McDonald. So. <laughs> I don't know. I think um, I'll give that. We we'll give that over to Jeremy or Stevie Cohn or uh, one of these up-and-coming kids, and uh, no problem. I'll hand it over. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks very much.